By now, you've probably heard about the L.A. City Council scandal involving racist comments that were leaked online. Last October, three L.A. City Council members, Nuri Martinez, Kevin De Leon, and Gil Cedillo, had a closed-door meeting with L.A. County Federation of Labor President Ron Herrera. The meeting was secretly recorded, posted on Reddit, and first reported by the Los Angeles Times, capturing the group making racist comments and plotting political power grabs. That's Nuri Martinez. She became the first Latina president of the LA City Council in 2019. She resigned after the Times published the audio recordings. I'm not cutting that deal with anybody because I don't know. I don't know that he can win. So what was the meeting about? Redistricting, the process of drawing lines that determine which voters vote for which representative. In L.A., there are 15 council districts. Their boundaries get redrawn every 10 years, and the city council approves them. Which brings us back to that October meeting. I mean, I'm hoping that you guys can all figure this redistricting out because I just need you elected. And this is Ron Herrera. He's the president of the most powerful coalition of unions in the country. He also resigned shortly after the audio tapes were made public. He talks about preserving power by creating favorable district lines. I get what we have to do, right? Just massage to create districts that benefit you all. The lines can be drawn to include valuable assets like universities and stadiums, as Martinez notes in this comment. If you want to make, like, the boss moves, I would go after the airport. Martinez recalls a conversation she says she had with L.A. businessman Danny Bakewell, in which she recommended Councilmember Marquise Harris Dawson take LAX away from fellow Councilmember Mike Bonin. Go get the airport from his little brother, that little Bonin. I go, I go, what is with the Bonin? What is with Bonin? I said, Bonin thinks he's black. That guy don't think he's black. He thinks he's black. She then goes on to attack Bonin's son, who is black. Bonin is white. They're raising him like a little white kid, which I was like, this kid needs a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. Kevin De Leon then says Bonin handles his son like an accessory. And then when Nori brings the, the, her little yard bag or the, the, the Louis Vuitton bag, right. it's like... De Leon was most recently a candidate for the mayor of Los Angeles. Their disdain for Mike Bonin may be explained by this statement from De Leon. Mike Bonin won't ever say a peep about Latino. He'll never say a word about Latino. Mike Bonin is not the group's only target. It serves us to not give her all of Cape Town. Because if you do, that solidifies her renter's district. And that is not a good thing for any of us. On the tape, Martinez, Cedillo, and De Leon plot to cut fellow council member Nithya Raman's district to their advantage. She's not going to help us. Her district is not the district we can count on. You're saying that's the one to put in the blender and chop up left or right? Well, that's what they did. Yeah. The conversation is laced with coarse comments and insults about colleagues and LA residents. Here's Martinez talking about a Jewish associate. The Bodillos cut their deal with um, Salfari. That's how I see it. And then we just screw everybody out. And an assembly member of Armenian descent. The, the guy with the one eyebrow. And the Oaxacan population. Yeah, that's called Cape Town. Yeah. I see a lot of little short, dark people. Yeah. So why does all of this talk about race and redistricting matter? Because representation is power. The scandal also raises questions that some politicians even those in one of the most diverse cities in the world use racism to attack anyone standing in the way of their agenda.